The Solidify modifier is a tool that adds thickness to a mesh by extruding faces along their normals. The normal is a vector that is perpendicular to its shape, or in other words, the direction in which a face points. The benefit of the Solidify modifier is that it is a non-destructive workflow, which makes it easy to change the shape of your mesh while maintaining the thickness. The use cases range from simple things like walls and architectural models to complex organic models like cloth. The modifier has several important properties which have to be adjusted for every model individually. There is no use this settings formula. The thickness value is self-explanatory. With the offset you can change the position of the thickness. A value of zero means it is centered and applied in both directions. Even thickness is used for architectural stuff like walls or hard surface modeling. Disabling fill will remove the rim faces. Only rim helps you to save polygons and space on your UV map by removing the opposite faces. Useful when you don't see those faces anyway. Vertex group acts like a mask to exclude or include certain parts. Another useful property is the flip checkbox under normals, which is only useful in combination with rims only. There are some things you have to pay attention to. First, the order of your modifier chain is important. There are modifiers that also affect the solidify modifier, like subdivision surface. The modifiers also have to be applied in this order. Second, the values of thickness and offset apply on the real transform of your geometry. So always make sure to apply rotation and scale before using the modifier. When using the flip normals function in the modifier, you have to flip your normals after applying the modifier. You can see this by turning on face orientation and fix it by selecting the red faces and pressing Ctrl N flip. 